Hi everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kids. Today I'm bringing you my January haul video, which is a new series that I want to start, which I will um, do every month for you. So after my completed pages video every month, uh, you should expect a haul video. So sometimes they may be shorter than others, purely because I might not have bought as much that particular month. Uh, for this particular month, I was actually waiting for something and it hasn't arrived yet and it's the new fragile worlds book by kirby rosans and i pre-ordered it from book depository and yeah it hasn't arrived so i'll put it in the february haul instead so i hope that's okay i'm just going to get started so firstly i'm going to show you the books that i got so this will be a very familiar book to you if you've seen the flip through i did do one on my channel this is beyond the world fairy tale coloring book by Eri, and it's her new book i think it came out November or December time last year and I did purchase it shortly after actually with um, some donation money from the lovely Kim uh, which was by um, Kofi money and so I decided to get this because it was a book that I was really interested in getting and I'm so pleased that I did because I can't wait to start working in it so thank you so much Kim so technically this wasn't something that I bought but you know it's still something that I have received so I thought I would share it with you so I have done a full in-depth flip through of this book but it is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to start working in it, as I said. it's There's just something about it, you know, the fact that they are fairy tales just adds to the pictures and kind of makes you want to colour them more. I, I just absolutely love it. And, and the paper's really nice as well. It's a different quality because it is the Japanese version. Um, I absolutely love it. And just for comparison with the um, Romantic Country, this is the English edition. They are the exact same size, it is just the paper for me, which is the only difference, and personally I prefer the paper in the Japanese edition. The spine is also different, so you know that for the romantic countries, I, I believe it's, well, just the English ones, they are, you can expect them to be like this. But it's absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to do my first picture in it. I'm hoping to do one very soon, but I have, um, you know, a couple of new books and I'd really like to start working in all of them fairly soon. So that is um, Aerie's new book. And thank you again to Kim for, um, you know, for me being able to order that through her and um, I really, really appreciate it. So the next book is uh, the posh colouring book Inspired by Nature by Marjolaine Bastin. I hope I'm saying her name right. Uh, this I had seen around a couple of years ago. I, I When I stumbled across it recently, I was like, oh, I, I, I swear I've seen that before. And I had. And recently I have seen it on both Shannon's channel and also uh, Zucchini Kitten. Kitty, sorry. So I just, yeah saw the flip through again and I was like oh that looks like a familiar book and I watched the flip throughs and I absolutely love it and it's the similar size and shape and all of that to the Disney Dreams collection by Thomas Kincaid it's the exact same uh, publisher the, the posh colouring book I believe the only difference is that I have found that the paper is slightly thicker in the Thomas Kincaid than the um than the inspired by nature one and it's a tiny tiny amount if you were wanting to use watercolor in this i would probably print onto a different paper because you know it's probably not the best quality for that but if you're using pencil like me you'll be absolutely fine so let me show you a bit inside this if you want a flip through let me know but there are quite a few flip throughs around already and i purchased this from amazon the every book i purchased from etsy just to let you know as well so this book is similar to the Thomas Kincaid book in that you get the picture on one side and then the line art on the other side. The thing I love about this is that the line art changes colour uh, depending on what the page is. So you can see for this it's a purple colour, so it's not a dark black like the Thomas Kincaid, which for me I think is an advantage. And the illustrations are beautiful. It's right up my street, you know, with all of the flowers and things. I really want to do this one for Easter, but we'll see if I get around to it or not. I may start with a slightly more simple page. But it's really lovely, and there, there were so many illustrations that caught my eye, and I thought, yeah, I'd love to do them. This is also 
stitch bound and I don't think the Thomas Kincaid one is so that is another advantage but it's absolutely gorgeous I think when I purchased this it was seven or eight pounds so you know they're, they're quite inexpensive books for the amount of illustrations that you're getting I mean it is crazy and they are going to take quite a while especially if you take your time with them and I know for me, especially with the whip that I've got going with the Thomas Kincaid, it will take me a while. So, yeah, this is the posh colouring book inspired by nature, illustrated by Marjolaine Bastin. And I believe all the illustrations from that one um, are from her nature sketchbooks and stuff. And there is another book that I've seen on Amazon, which is her um, her sketchbook, which, you know, shows all her annotations and things. And it looks really interesting. Next we have this book and there will be a flip through of this coming shortly after this video. This is illustrated by Chaki Karamomo and I can't remember what it exactly translates to but it's something to do with the animals and this is so gorgeous. I can't get over it. It's, it's amazing. I was just browsing on Etsy as you do and I saw it and again I, I had remembered seeing this before but there had been no flip through on YouTube of it so you know I always like to see flip throughs of things especially if they're more expensive books and there was a flip through that was on YouTube that had been around for about a month and I was so pleased to see it because you know then I could see what was inside it so I the reason I did a flip through is because there has been only one and I think this book really deserves to be shown more because it is absolutely stunning. So in comparison to a book like Ivy and Ink Butterfly, which I know in itself is quite an um, interesting shape, um, it is bigger, both width and height. So it is, you know, a fairly big book. It's not absolutely massive, but it's it's gorgeous. This is on the pricier side of books. Um, you know, it is from Etsy. I purchased it from Stationery Corner and the lovely Jessica there, she... Uh, did a custom order for me so she purchased this from Japan and then it got sent to her and then on to me and I've explained more in depth about this um, you know in the flip through that will be up after this video so in this book you get 16 pages which you know to some people it doesn't seem like a lot and I know you know for the price it was you know around the £20 mark um, you know there's 16. For me, the amount of time that it's going to take me to colour one page is definitely worth it. And I just think they're gorgeous. The The line art is a dark grey and some of the lines are thicker and thinner depending on the illustration. And I love the fact that it's grey as well because it almost has, um, some parts have a slightly sketchy feel as well. Which lends really well with it kind of being a really, really faint grayscale, like the fur there, for example. And I, th oh, I just love it. And then you also get all of the coloured illustrations as well. So similarly to the Thomas Kincaid book and the Inspired by Nature book, you, you are getting all of the colour palettes and inspiration there, as well as the images. So, you know, there's a lot that's gone into this book and the amount of printing and stuff is lovely. So I'll just quickly flip through these for you. They're stunning and I will be trying to replicate them because they are gorgeous. And in the flip through that I did, I explain all about the um, translations of what the pictures mean. A lot of them are inspired by fairy tales, which again, I think is absolutely lovely. And it's just a gorgeous book. So this is by Chiaki Karamomo. So they are the books that I purchased. Again, as I said, Fragile Worlds, I technically did purchase in January, but it didn't arrive um, yet. So, sorry, it hasn't arrived yet. So I'll share that in my February haul. Okay, so moving on to the supplies that I got. These were actually a December purchase. So when shops were open before Christmas, I did go into my local art shop and picked up um, a few of these. And these are the brush sign pens by Pentel. Now, these are, I've seen two versions of them. These have, in English, the brush sign pen writing. But there are others that have, I think, um, Japanese on them because that's where they were originally from, I think. And so I don't know if they are two different makes or, you know, if there are any differences. I'd be really interested to know. But these are amazing. I can't stress to you enough how much I love these. I've really wanted to get into hand lettering and practicing how to do it. 
and it they're brilliant for that i'm just going to show you the nibs on these they've got a really nice fiber tip which are quite hard which i think is lovely to be able to get the variation in the lines and you know if you're new to hand lettering like i was you can just very easily um kind of obtain your own style through these um i just absolutely love them but i've kind of been practicing my hand lettering and i'm not the best at it it's still you know very new to me but i've really enjoyed experimenting with these so you get this lovely blue um kind of periwinkle color i'll hold these up in a minute so you can see properly a lovely pink and then kind of a muted turquoise as well so originally I thought I was mainly going to use these as kind of fine liners and basing things but I, I love them and I've been using them loads for writing and things so these are brilliant and I think there are about 24 colours or something and I've seen them on cult pens so I may pick up a few more um, shortly. Uh, whilst I've got this out I will show you the things that I got from cult pens. I did get a small number of things. I had got this um, pit pen by Faber-Castell quite a while ago and I was using it to outline things in the Thomas Kincaid and it was brilliant because it's India ink so it sinks into the paper and doesn't leave um, kind of, I don't know, like a texture on the paper like Posca would. <clears throat> if I just show you here on the line. You can go over it as it dries with multiple layers, but I have done one layer of Sharpie and then more. And you can see that it's not stark white, which, you know, I wouldn't recommend using one of these if you were doing, um, you know, dots for a sky or something like that. But they're brilliant for whiting out lines, which is what I use them for. So this is the 2.5 and this is absolutely massive. <laughs> And I really wanted to get the uh, other sizes. So there is a calligraphy one, but I wasn't interested in getting that one purely because I I can kind of do calligraphy, but I wouldn't use them with, in my colouring. So I ended up going for the brush one and the 1.5. So the 1.5 is, again, kind of a bullet nib. So it, is, it isn't flexible or anything like that. It is kind of your standard, you know, if you had a felt tip pen, that sort of thing. And if I show you the size comparison, you know, there, there is a considerable difference. So I'm really pleased that I got that one. And then the one that's probably my favourite is this one, and this is the brush one. So if you have any of the other coloured pit pens, and I have uh, one ivory one, it's brilliant. You could, again, use these for calligraphy as well. So this one, I think, is going to be the most useful. However, with this, as you can see when I show it up, it isn't as opaque as the others so you definitely need to go over with multiple layers so you can see that the um, thinner bullet nib actually is the best in terms of opacity so you can layer them and stuff as long as you let them dry but they do sink into the paper really really well and they're brilliant for that sort of thing so I'm really pleased that I've got these now because I can you know, go full force with my whip that I have and hopefully they'll be very useful for other pages as well. So they are the Faber-Castell Pit Artist brush pens that have India ink in them. And the other thing that I got from Cult Pens were the brand new set of Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic pens. I had seen these around but I just kind of stumbled across them again and I was so excited because I absolutely love my Pentel Hybrid. I did move them out of the little pencil wrap that I had because I've decided to put these all in one pencil case um, you know after I had shown them in the haul. So these are the original colours I think. I can't even remember how many I have here. Three, six, nine. I have 12 here. So I got them gradually. Um, you can get um, a pack of eight that's readily available in quite a few places and then I kind of just looked at the ones that I didn't have and got them so the great thing about these is that they are dual toned so apart from the gold and the silvery one pretty much all of them are and they're so sparkly and they're amazing and I'll show you the swatches of both the old and new ones if you're interested in getting um, getting them now the swatch that I originally did was quite far back uh, this one so you can see them on the black and then on white 
and they are so shimmery oh sorry just shook the camera and absolutely gorgeous so they're brilliant they really are and they're so shimmery and as other people have said they're probably one of the most sparkly gel pens as well and and, and i know the name is a bit um a bit vague really because it says dual metallic so you'd expect them to be metallic but they actually are sparkly oh i love them my favorite one from the new set is the uh, light pink and metallic green and gold it's so beautiful so i will run through the names of these for you so it comes in a set and for me it was actually cheaper to buy the set of seven rather than um paying for each individually on cult pens because cult pens do sell them open stock if you do just want to try out a few but these are the brand new colors that come in the set I'm going to try and not get them out of order, although I'm pretty sure I have already. So this one is the turquoise green and metallic red and green. So lots of these have incorporated more glitters as well. So hence the two um, like metallic green and gold there, the different glitters. So we have light pink and metallic green and gold, which was my personal favourite of the new set. Gold and metallic red and gold. Light violet and metallic red and blue. Blue, grey and metallic blue and silver. Silver and metallic copper and green. And finally, light green and metallic blue and red. Sorry, that was out of focus then. So you can see that there are a few lighter colours. And, you know, some of them aren't quite as bold, um, which I really like. Because that's the only thing that I thought in the other colours. It's kind of lacking a bit. Um, just because you are, you know, you do get all of the lovely bold colours, but it's nice to add to the set now. I'll put those back in a minute. So from here, these are all the new colours. So you can see that on the white, there are some lovely lighter tones there. So they are the new Penta Hybrid Dual Metallic Pens, which I absolutely love. I'm thrilled to have them and I can't wait to use them more. I'll show you the page that I have used them on already which was in Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Markova. And the page was this one. And I used them a lot on the dress, all those flowers. Again, on the dress up there was the purple one. And just dotted around uh, quite a lot of the glitter that I used on this page were the new pens because I really wanted to test them out. They're fabulous and I really like them okay so i was given these new pencils by um some lovely family friends of ours uncle jim and auntie lynn and i i really really like them i have shown them a couple of times i think in my completed pages i showed them because i did a page in luna which i'll show you these are the giotto still novo um skin tone pencils and it comes in a 12 set and I believe for us in the UK, there is a 50 set of these pencils and based on how they work, I would say go for it. They are excellent. They, you know, they would be classed as the more kind of budget friendly pencils and they, if you're a beginner colourist, they would be excellent. Um, I will show you what they look like. So they have no colour name or number, which doesn't bother me because you know especially with uh, it being a smaller set it's much easier to keep track of them the only thing they do have which i could use as kind of a code is they all have this um engraved number on the back which i'm not sure uh if it's meant you can't really see it doesn't show up very well i'm not sure if that's meant to be the code but you can see that they are different so you could use them like that if you wanted to but they're um hexagonal barrels and they're amazing. I've used pretty much all of the colours and I don't have a swatch of them to show you, but you can uh, you can kind of see from this anyway what sort of colours you'll be getting and they're very accurate to the barrel as well. So they are the colours and as, um, if you know if there's a bigger set um, other than 50, I'd love to know because I don't think they originated here, um, but they're, they're lovely. So the page that I did was from Luna and it is this one so using the pencils I um, coloured 
her skin, her hair and these um, brown bunnies. So I'm really pleased with how they performed and, you know, I'm not the most confident with skin and, you know, for me, I was trying to incorporate quite a few of the colours. It may not really pick up on camera, but I was going for more of a tanned skin, you know, um, not as many peachy pink colours, you know, they were more kind of sandy colours and I'm really proud of it. So I can't wait to experiment more with the skin tones in, in this book because there are some more close up pictures like that and there are some more um that are further away so it'll be nice to experiment and see what i can come up with so i think they're absolutely gorgeous and you'd never know that i had used different pencils really on this on this page which for me i'm really pleased with because it, it shows just how good they are um so yeah they are the giotto still Novo um 12 set of skin tone pencils so thank you so much uncle joe and auntie lynn for sending those to me i really appreciate it and i think they're amazing okay so i have a small order that i got from the color pencil shop i was really in need of some backups for my prisma color pencils and i also got a couple of others as well so you know if you've ordered from color pencil shop the way that um everything is packaged is excellent and i have actually kept them in this um little parcel just because you know for ease and i wouldn't forget anything before i did the haul so i got six prisma colors let me just grab them from here so i don't get them mixed up with the others so these were ones that i'm running quite short of so we have sandbar brown pc1094 Cloud Blue PC1023, Blue Violet Lake PC1079, 10% French Grey PC1068, Grey Green Light PC289 and finally Pale Sage PC1089. This was the one that I was really, really in need for. There were a couple that weren't in stock, so I do need to get them when they are in stock, but they are amazing and you know, I do go through these fairly quickly. I don't order from the colour pencil shop that often, but, you know, when I need to order them, I, I tend to wait until I need to get a few and then do a bit of a larger order. So I have those. And then I also got a replacement Light Ultramarine 140 from the Polychromos and also a replacement for the Buff Titanium from the Luminance by Karen Dush and I also got a new colour from the portrait set. So far in the luminance, I only have the buff titanium pink white and now this one. And this is the middle verdigris and it's a beautiful green. It, it's stunning and I love it. And these pencils are quite expensive. On um, the colour pencil shop, they're £3, which is one of the lowest prices I've seen them. So that's amazing. And as you can tell, I've already started using it quite a lot. And then I also picked up another Pablo pencil, which is lime green. And this is, again, a really pretty colour. I used both of these, actually, quite a lot in the Luna page that I showed you. And at the moment for Pablo's, I only have this one and the 12 set, which I have had for quite a while. And it's the main set, along with a couple of others that I'm using in Luna. So I'm really pleased to have this one. And, you know, it complements them really well because it's a light... A lighter tone so I'm hoping to build up my set over the coming months it's so so gorgeous that color and finally I have a few things that I purchased from Amazon so we have the Prismacolor colorless blenders and I've already started using this one these have got more and more expensive as as time has gone on i think when i first started coloring i could get these easily for about 354 pounds on amazon and uh, now they are roughly about seven pounds so they have gone up but you know they're they're blenders and they are um, a necessity for me I, I love using them so you know i guess for two it's still not that bad but i love love using these and they are a staple as one of my coloring tools so yeah i got these on amazon and the final thing that I got in the same order, I have actually already shown in my computer pages, but it is a diamond painting, which is the first one that I have ever done. Um, you can go and see this on my computer pages and um, 
find out a bit more about it if you want to but I think I've actually done more since then anyway so you know you're getting a bit of, um, more of a preview of what I've already done I keep it all in this little um, container and I don't have any of the fancy pots to put them all in I thought I wouldn't get any of those unless I actually start diamond painting a bit more it's definitely going to be um, something that I don't do that often you know I'm probably not going to have one of these going on um, all the time I'll just do one and, and buy one when I feel like it so this was only eight pounds and I thought I've got to give it a try for that <laughs> for that price that's amazing and it came with everything that I need so all I do is tape these bags up with washi tape afterwards which I know is a little bit risky but it's fine it also came with the tray that you need the pen the wax I mean it comes comes with everything and it's fantastic the quality is exceptional and for my first one I'm really really enjoying it this has 19 colors and it's 30 by 30 centimeters so it's on the smaller side of a diamond painting but that's good for me for my first try so I've pretty much done a quarter of this now I'll take the plastic away so you can see so this is a bee with flowers and kind of dripping um, honey and stuff around it and I'm really enjoying it I think so far I've probably only worked on it for about four hours which is pretty good considering you know how many tiny tiny drills there are and it's really sticky as well which is excellent because I was a bit worried about whether they would drop off and not stay on but they have so yeah that's the last thing that I got so I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video as always I love filming these sorts of videos they're really fun and you know these videos are never me showing off about what I have got loads of people do haul videos and people do ask to see them and I love watching other people so I figured I would start um, doing these as a monthly video so thank you so much for watching have a lovely day and I will see you all in my next video bye everyone